Welcome pilots, I have Corvus back with me. We are going to take a little uh, jaunt through the Corsair, the new premium Corsair, and uh, also the Horton was on sale last week, so we're gonna touch base on that a little bit. Uh, but first we wanna start here and go through it. Probably won't be as long of a breakdown because if you've flown the uh, Tech Tree version, you've pretty much flown this version, right? You're exactly correct. If you've, uh, if you've flown pretty much any Corsair, You've flown this guy. Um, it's it feels like flying a Corsair. Uh, <laughs> you know, I, I what can you say? It, it's got its good and its bad. You're you're not going to be out turning a whole bunch of stuff at uh, at tier, uh, but you fast and you've got guns. Mm -hmm. um, and I've I've with mine at least I've leaned into the fast. Right. Uh, given it uh, given it boost uh, boost. Um, equipment, giving it uh, polished skin. Uh, I have a boost cooler, so I can have even more boost. Um, uh, this is the w with this particular guy. I, I figure since we're in tier seven, you're going to see more tier eight than th than. Right. So you see your bottom tier more often than than not. Uh, it, it seem it seems to work out that way, and so I figured if I, I got to lean into speed, I'm going to go all the way. So because my guy is specialized, I gave it uh, strength and hard points. Now there's an argument to be made. Oh, sorry, nope, scratch that. I gave it aerodynamic pylon. So I, I was going to ask. Most, I was like, yeah, most, <laughs> most, 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 right? But the argument can be made for for strength and hard points because the ordnance reload as this is shockingly long. Uh, is it two minutes? Is that right? Yeah. And then, you know, add Attention. another uh, pretty much 12 seconds on top of that. And so, you know, you're, you're, you're at 130 some odd seconds, 137, maybe, I think. I can't yeah. remember now the, the, but it's a lot. Yeah. Uh, um, it's uh, it's well, and, and people will know too. So mine's Corvus is specialized, mine is not. So I do not have a boost cooler, um, and so as a result of that, I've gone with a cr kind of cruise speed build instead for now, um, to try and make sure that I need my boost less. Uh, do we want to double down on the mining plant over here? Ooh, no, that's a fine idea because uh, uh, with a B thirty two in the sky, we got to think about uh, uh, using our using our ordnance. Yeah. I'm not too worried about that Spitfire. Um, yeah. I mean, yeah, okay. It's something to think about, but he's not going to be cruising around the map uh, chasing us. No. All right, I see where you're going. I'm going to go someplace else. All right. And uh, I'm going to try and... Uh, there we go. We got a bomber in the zone, maybe? Something, somebody's hitting something here. All right. Let's see what we got going on here. And since I brought along, uh, since I brought along heap, uh, high explosive uh, armor piercing, get more, uh, get more go for my here he is. Here's the B-32. Let's, be let's belly yeah, up. A... Let's get there. He's already half dead. Nice. No. Uh, but he unloaded. Uh, well, it was it was going to be... He had to. Otherwise, we're going to have to face his guns. So. Right. And he, they already took the other uh, mining plant. The other mining plant. Yep. Well, maybe well, this is sucks. a bad idea. Then maybe we should have stuck with the command centers. Learn from our mistakes, folks. Right. So, I mean, what are you gonna do? He's got he's got two loads of bombs, and he uh, he unloaded, and we should have should have thought about the fact that he might do that. All right. And for some reason, we keep losing. We keep losing uh, 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 our um, progress that we made. I'm not well, exactly sure why that is. 
We've got some others in the zone here. Oh, I see. I didn't so. see the guys up above. Yep. Well, that sucks. Nope, we screwed up. Well, it's a long battle, so... There we go. All right, let's go and see if we can't do something about the other one. Or go to a command center. That's a, It's up to you. I can stooge around and, uh, and uh, start doing something about this uh, mining plan over here. Yeah, I'll say maybe you go help Ricardo, and I'll go ahead to the other mining, uh, other uh, boot. Um, actually, we probably should have re reversed that since you've got the extra boost and I don't. <laughs> oh, no, that's true. But too late well, now. I'm, I'm here, and I'm doing the thing. All right, well, the, we've almost got this uh, uh, command center, so I might head to the other one. I should have my rockets back by then, so. Yeah, it's, that's the thing is I'm gonna I got mines a long ways away. So anyway, I've been I've been running uh, uh, high explosive armor piercing on a lot of my cannon planes, and it seems to help with. Oh yeah. With uh, w with ground targets, and maybe I'm just imagining it. No, it's supposed to. I mean, that's the that's it's supposed to be a thing. So. So uh, I had the, a tier six uh, Corsair come into the zone, and of course, the the cannon on these guys is just absolutely fantastic. Yeah, it's already uh, paying dividends over here. All right, got some rockets back. Oh my god. Well, this is going to suck because we're just, we're not being able to, we, we don't have the, we just don't have the capping power that the B-32 does. Uh, that's fair. We don't. Um, but maybe we should uh, abandon strategies then and try something else. Yeah, we might have to. Because, uh, I, just, uh, I mean, as... <laughs> I got sniped as by as... Yak-9. Oh, of course. All right. All right, I'm going to go back to the other plant and see what I can't do. All right. I got to keep my eye open for uh, for that B-32 because uh, I, I need to sick a, one of our heavy fighters on him. He's close to our base, actually, is what it looks like, unless that's the A-26. Is right, he headed? He's headed. No, I, I think that's the A-26 that's headed for our command center. So I think I've got some help with the uh, with some bombers. No, yep, a bomber. All right. He might be trying to. So yeah, I'm kind of curious. I don't know. Uh, we're gonna lose our. Oh no, our ground attacker. There shouldn't be any low altitude aircraft, any aircraft guns. So. All right, here we go. Something's coming in. Nope. All right, I'm gonna keep working on it. Come on, guys. So anyway, what I was saying about heap, uh, high explosive armor piercing, I feel like I set fires uh, more uh, on ground targets than I do with uh, incendiary. Right. I don't, I don't know if that's true or not. All right, I'm gonna go over and maybe defend the other mining plant. Ah, I don't know that I'm gonna be able to do anything over there. We got ah, 30 seconds happened. until um, Squall Line. So okay. if we can retake that plant and knock the B-32 out, that might make a difference. If we can uh, clear out one or two of these GAs along the way, that might help too. Well, I'm. I'm thinking about doing that because they'll just go over to our uh, to our other mining plant and just take it. Yep. And I don't have my uh, I don't have my uh, uh, rockets back yet. Yep. Boom. Okay, there's one. I don't know what happened to the other one. You must have got him. Yep, I got him. So we got uh -oh. a, a bomber coming in here, uh, bomb flight anyway. Uh oh, who's on you? Oh, Nobody. No, it's just it's, it's way the B up there. It's the B thirty two. Yep. And he's uh, he's not dumb enough to come down here. 
is uh, eight uh, 20 millimeter cannons is uh, that hurts. Yeah. <laughs> Well, but if we can take this uh, zone before he flips this one. Come on, guys. There we go. All right. Ten Second seconds. Second. My rockets are back. There. Oh, oh, look at that. Look at that. All right. Well, we did something. I don't know what we did, but we did it. Now we got to flip this one back as soon as we can. Okay, I got my rockets back, so I'll come over here and try to flip it. Oops. What? I got a, I got a wing crit uh, from a phantom bullet. Oh, uh, that stinks. I love those. Thank you, Wargaming. All right. I'm going to try and get these soft targets before I use my rockets. I think that might help. You're probably right. Some of the... Uh... Oops. Aha. All right. Start a fire on that guy, so we'll get that one. All right, kill something else, man. Boom. <laughs> do it, do it. Nice. You are a winner. Oh, my God. Is that gonna, we did it. We freaking we, did it. <laughs> we did it. All right, there you go. Never question nice our strategy. <laughs> <laughs> we, we did screw we, up. We probably we should have gone. We, we, we gone for the... The command center. Oh, first. absolutely. Probably. Absolutely. Probably. Absolutely. Uh, that's well, okay. Uh, yeah. So, so <laughs> this, folks, this is, uh, oh, by the way, everybody, hit the like button, leave a comment, <laughs> subscribe, help grow this channel. It's uh, H0 is, uh, puts out some ex outstanding content. Don't miss anything <laughs> he puts out. It's fantastic. Thank you, um, sir. We got a we got a salute from Nova in the chat here. Hey, Nova, hope you're doing well. I've got some uh, replays of his to review on the channel in the coming week that everybody can look forward to. That was quite fun and quite clutch, even if uh, it should have been approached differently by us, probably. So. <laughs> no, that's, uh, that, that's uh, uh, we number one. You, you're a very good player, and you were able to uh, you were able to do the thing that you needed to do. Um, and frankly, I was a helper. So, <clears throat> hey, we yeah. um, we we learned from that, though. I think uh, that's right. <laughs> I was just trying at the end there to because I like okay, what can we finish off? How many points can we get? Right? How can we flip this as quickly as possible? Um, right. So, and then the fact that the other mining plant rolled over at that moment was was pretty awesome as well. So. Uh, no, we, our, our bots participated. We got to we got to do the thing. Uh, their bots made mistakes by coming mm -hmm. into sectors where they should not have come into. Right. Because hey, I know how to use those twenty millimeter cannons. So maybe right. you don't want to. Maybe you just don't want to play here. Yeah. Yep. All right. What do we got? Goegas two says uh, salutes in the chat. So Goegas and Tetney, hope you're doing well. We got Valentine back in the B thirty two. And Carlos is running with us again. Uh, you want rocket base or command center? You know, I I always prioritize the military base over uh, the command center, and and that might be a mistake, but I I always seem to do that. Okay. Um, cool. I'm gonna go up and I'm going to uh, use my boost, and I'm gonna go and uh, hunt for those uh, heavy ADAs. Okay. Um, oh, you're not. You're not coming. Okay. No, no, so no. we're going to split else. up this time. Uh, I will say okay. it is a little disappointing that the uh, altitude is only 1,200 on this thing. No, I, I agree with you. It's um, <clears throat> It feels like, well, this is a gripe of mine. 
uh, in general when it comes to multi-role fighters in World of Warplanes. They seem to have gotten the shaft heavily. Yeah. Uh, when it comes to uh, when it comes to altitude performance, they they do okay when they for uh, speed, and oftentimes the guns are good. But crap, it's like here yeah. I am up at, at two thousand meters. Okay, I'm way over what I should be. Right. All right, here we go. Oh, here he comes. He's coming this way. Yeah, I'll say, I, I didn't see him over here, so I figured he had to be on you. No, and, and unfortunately, I'm behind him, and he's got tail gun, tail gun for years. Yeah, that that was not a. Uh, oh, and he was he had along a, his one of his friends. Oh. So I was I was I was cooked no matter what. Yeah. <clears throat> you know what's what's most dangerous? Well, <laughs> a pair of humans. Yes. That's what's most dangerous. Uh, let's see. Although, if they're going to stick together... Right, we'll, we'll have a capping advantage. So, that was one of the things that... I, because I did not expend any of my rockets, I still have them. So I'm going to go and cap something else. Good call. And because right. there's no uh, uh, nothing worth three times what the other stuff is worth, we could leave the the military base alone if we wanted to. Yeah, that's fair. <clears throat> I don't want to, but if we wanted to, we could. Oh lord, this tornado man just dove on me out yeah. of nowhere. Have you noticed that uh, bot multi rolls just assassin at the last possible second? Like <laughs> they they are more aggressive. Below seemingly that that than they used to be ah. yeah i'm out of boost i'm trying to come as fast as i can but it ain't looking good no no uh oh and i've do i've dove right in the middle of it too yep so when i showed up there was nobody there right and then when i and then of course they all showed up right so that's my fault. Now the stupid thing is I'm going to respawn in the airfield, right? Yep. And then we're going to go to that rocket base. Oh. Oh, there, uh, there are the other human just crashed at a ram head on ram. That sucks. Well, right. for them. For them. For us, it's good. Oh, did I just? I did. I started at the wrong place. Dang it! All right. Sorry. So we're going to the we're going to the military base. Is that yeah, true? yeah. Let's keep keep the keep the foot on the gas. All right. Ah, crap. I think I'm being I think I'm being interdicted right now. Yep. Dang it! I could not get away from this guy. Well, they are they do have a pair of light fighters there, so. Well, and, and the P-51A is actually pretty fast. Yeah, oh he yeah. He came immediately right over there. Ugh. All right. Let's see if we can get some money on him. Oh, Carlos, clear out those AA guns. Oh, good. Yeah, that's my, so that's my gripe about this, this plane, even though it's fast. It, it's acceleration is kind of crap, so. Yeah. All right, 80 points, 80 points over here. We're gonna need this. They flipped a lot of stuff very quickly. Yeah, well, and I, I got, I've been caught out three times by that uh, P-51A, so. I'm just not, uh, I'm not, I'm kind of sucking right now, so. There we go. All right. Mustang down. There we go. Tornado inbound. Right. I'm gonna go over there. It's another thing that uh, that high explosive uh, 
armor piercing does is it sets uh, it set, sets planes on fire pretty good. Yep. Watch that heavy above. I'm gonna see if he's nope. He's going after you. Nope. He he pulled off of me. All right. Go over here and see what I can't do over here. Really like our. Uh, really like our uh, uh, bombers to do something. Oh, yeah, me too. Brother. aircraft yeah <laughs> and they turn super tight despite the fact that yep. on paper it's 13 second turn in reality often not so much often a little no. faster than that ADA do their own I mean they do their own thing yep it's uh, it's it's like when you're in a jet at tier 9 and they're flying away from you Yep. It's like, uh, oh, I'm gonna go down at Squall. I'm gonna go down at Squall. Ah, I should have dove into the ground. I didn't realize how close to Squall we were. Well, if we can take that last zone and get supremacy, oh, the I'm rocket trying. rocket's already working on it. Just stay alive. There we go. We have complete control of the skies. Way to go. All right. So, uh, for this particular pilot, I decided that I was going to. Um, run uh, resilience because yeah. I, I generally I don't I'm uh all right what do we got here because uh, I, I've I've always seemed to find something better to do with my points right but in this particular case I've decided that we're gonna see what happens when I run resilience Instead of, oh, I don't know, uh, Engine Guru t uh, 2. Right. Because Engine Guru 2 uh, for this plane would be useful. Yeah. But because you're a multi role and you're limited in your altitude, you kind of need to have something. Right. Uh, to stay alive. All right. Well, I'm going to stay alive. Hopefully we're going to win this one, even though we done screwed up. That's right. We, well, I think we we didn't screw up. We just we, we encountered resistance as as one should. So <laughs> you know, you you hope the enemy puts up a good fight for you. Yeah. See see how poorly I did. I I did poorly because I got I, I got caught out by that Mustang three times. So yeah. Well, and, and we're so gonna lose. You're uh, gonna lose those fights in in the Corsair. You really are. That's yeah. gonna be. Yeah. You know, people need to be aware of that. That's one of the reasons why multi roles are good at working edges rather than mixing it up over air bases. Right? Is you got to stay away from right. from you what that which hunts you because <laughs> you're not gonna outturn so it. You're not gonna outspeed it. So. You and I are making a, a strategic mistake by taking the same aircraft out. Mm -hmm. uh, we, Absolutely. We should not be doing that. Yep. Uh, Frankly, if it were, if we're doing this right, a multi-role and a ground attack aircraft yep. is a is a really good combination because you can the ground the ground attack aircraft can go and just light sectors up, but it's really nice to have somebody covering your butt. Yeah. Uh, and, and multi-roles are good at that. Um, well, and Car or, Carlos is doing a great job taking zones over there. I mean, that's right. Yeah. Yes. So so yeah, while 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 they were monkeying around with us, mm -hmm. he went around and just cap 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 cap. Yep, yep. Like he should. Yep, and that's not even necessarily a super strong ground attack aircraft, but you know if you no. if you know what you're doing and and you fulfill your aircraft's role, then you're in good shape, right? So. Yes, absolutely. No, I I uh, I I personally did not like the Ju eighty eight P. Yeah, I uh, I I was. I mean that gun was was fun, right? Yes. Especially if you were able to like lay it on an aircraft and just like, uh, you know, insta kill. 
Yeah. Uh, always, that always makes me giggle. But, you know, they got no auto aim, so doing that is, is uh, just luck. It's hey, difficult that, or hey, the that, right situation, right? Yeah. 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 So, so yeah, you're, you're dead astern of a bot uh, Soviet GAA. Yeah. Hey, here you go. This is the best shot you're going to get. Right. So, and, and it's got enough juice to, to you know, insta kill one of those guys. Um, yep. But yeah, it was, uh, it, it, I, I was excited, very excited to move up to the ME 265. Which is excellent, um, an excellent aircraft. So it kind of makes you forget the JU-88 yeah. anyway. <laughs> and then after that, I realized after looking at the tech tree that I screwed up bad. Mm. Instead of starting off at Tier 4, I should have played the ME-410 for a little bit longer and right. gotten all my experience points and just skipped Tiers 4 through well, 6. Well, here's the thing. I wanted to experience every aircraft in the game. That's one of the reasons I have not, outside of one exception, I have not skipped tiers, and I played even aircraft I don't like. Just have that experience. Um, and that's ultimately why I don't mind collecting premiums either. I, I want to see how they fly. I want to see what's good, what's bad, what's ugly about them, right? So, but, uh, and I will say, I, we so we want to talk about this. I, kudos to Wargaming for listening. We've been begging for a premium spit. Corsair, a real multi-role Corsair for a long time. Um, and so the fact that they listen to us is good. Now there's some implementation issues, I think, but they were listening, which is the first step in, in what we were hoping for. So I'm happy about that. All right. And before I uh, talk to you about that, what shall we do here? Shall we learn from our previous mistake or shall we make that mistake again? All right. So I go for the close command center. You go for the far one since you have boost. Is uh, that Absolutely. All right, let's try that and see how it works. Um, all I have to do is not suck. Yeah. But, you no, know, that's no. that's my uh, that's my thing is I, I try not to suck. I have confidence um, that it'll be all right. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, Radosaur was talking about you know one of the things he was the model is different, right? This is not the model of the XF. You know, it's it's just the F4UF. The model's not yes. been touched. So there right. was no model work done where model work probably should have been done. Um, so that's it, yes. that's a minor gripe, though, I think, in the grand scheme of things, right? I, I Yes, I agree with that. Um, in fact, so th this is my argument for. My argument for is that that way that uh, Wargaming can deliver to us another premium without having to spend a ton of resources doing it. Right. And I like that because that way we get another premium. Yeah. Right? Absolutely. And so having having another premium is better than uh, a really pretty model that sits on somebody's uh, somebody's desk. Right. So um, that's that's one thing. Um, and, and the the models are pretty. Let's let's let let's give uh, do where uh, give the credit where it's due. War gaming is good at giving us nice models. Yeah, and and I'm happy to. Oh, don't screw up! Don't screw up! There we go. Don't crash. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, there's a Yak Nine U over there, and I, I just got zapped. Oh. Yeah, I see him. It, but I I capped the zone, so. Good deal. Uh, they're B17. I don't know where he is. And I got a what key eighty four? Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, I gotta I, I gotta get away from this uh I gotta get away from this yak because he's he's gonna blast me. I'm gonna see if I can uh surprise the key eighty four here. Surprise. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, so I see him. Oh, and I was trying to go do? for a wing clip and I didn't quite get there. Oh he he didn't turn on me. That was a mistake. Yep, good job. Good job. That's what I like. Now I got to get the hell out of here. No, I... you got to get the Spitfire off my tail. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. I'm dragging him up. Go go go! I'm coming. But I, I gotta go. Oh, I'm not gonna make it. Oh. Nice. Well somebody, done. Somebody got him. It wasn't me. Somebody oh. else got him. Hey, a guns. Hey, a guns. Okay. All right. Okay. We'll, we'll take it. 
<laughs> All right, now so now we got to do our uh, now we got to do our mining plant stuff. Yes. So maybe prevent the one they're starting to cap. Is that the? That's probably the way to go, right? Yeah, I got a I got a forty-seven Bravo. I got to take care of because he was oh crap, and now I got to take care of something else because it just turned on me. What is it? Oh, it's a Yap Nine U. And he uh, he gave me the he gave me the Ram. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. I don't know if we're gonna get to this, the uh, zone here in time or not. Well, I got 14 seconds of respawn, so. Come on. What do we got? Now, do we why got? don't? Can you explain to me why we don't have two bomber flights? I have no idea. The matchmaker has been wonky since the last time they touched it, so. Right. I am. I am annoyed. Okay, I'm gonna come and join you. No, I'm not. I'm gonna go over the other one. You've already, you've got that one covered. I think we're gonna win this one, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. We're good. There you go. So I'm I'm headed over to the other one. I'm gonna. I've got all my rockets. The bombers are coming. Um. I've got to regen some health here. Um, oh, the K84 is over here. Yeah, he's. I can understand why. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can double team him again, I guess. Oh, you're so far away. I don't know if I can make it there in time. I'll try, though. He can't see me coming, I don't think, because oh. of the mountain. Damn come it. down. Come to me. Come to me. Come to me. Yeah, we'll, we're we'll not going to lose anything. A little closer. A little closer. Nice. He's keeping following you. I'm going to gun him. Drag, drag, drag. He's gone. Drag. Nice. All right. You are the king of all you survey, sir. Hey, it's teamwork, <laughs> buddy. It's teamwork. <laughs> teamwork makes the dream work. 2v1, usually you can win 2v1. Yeah. No, he was, he was uh, cooked. But he should have recognized that you were more dangerous than me because I was running away. Yeah. Uh, the problem there was that as soon as he turned, I would have too. Right. Yeah. That's that's the that's the joy of teamwork. But but the guy on your six is more dangerous than the guy that's running away from you. Yeah. Always. All Kill right. steal. Yeah, baby. Right at the buzzer. <laughs> Gotta nice. get those PP. Especially on an air supremacy, right? I was yeah. behind you on that one, so. No, that's that's uh, good. Uh, by the way, folks, there's no such thing as a kill steal when you're uh, when you're trying to win. Yeah, that's uh, 100%. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, as far as I'm concerned, you can have all of them. I'll I'll give you assists all day long as long as we win. Yep, I never never complain about that. Not a problem for me. I like to laugh about it though. <laughs> All right. Well, that was three really awesome matches in the Corsair. Uh, do we proceed to do some Horton battles? I don't see why not. All right. I like it. I love a I love a good flying wing. In the morning, is that the are we, are we referencing a movie here? I, I no, love the I smell just, of uh, a flying wing in the morning. No, I I have absolutely no idea how they smell, and I'm uh, I'm a little worried actually. <laughs> about that. Uh, no, it's uh, uh, for those folks, uh, uh, maybe the younger crowd that never saw Apocalypse Now. Uh, Robert Duvall says, "I uh, love the smell of napalm in the morning. It smells like victory." There you go. And uh, and it's it, Apocalypse Now is a is a great movie, um, and uh, I recommend anyone who's uh, who wants to see a a, a movie that kind of encapsulates uh, Vietnam. Apocalypse Now is kind of the, kind of the one. Yep. Uh, well, there's uh, a couple of good platoons. Yeah, good. platoon. Yes, platoon. Yeah. Um, and if you really want to freak yourself out, the Deer Hunter. Deer Hunter. But of yeah. course, uh, we're forgetting the best Vietnam War movie of all time. Oh dear, which one? Forrest Gump. Oh <laughs> man. No, you got me. You got me. Uh. I want to back up to the Corsair while we're loading into this. I, I will say um, 
you know, the other thing we asked is that the Corsair be a little different than the Tech Tree one. And I do like that we have the extra rockets with more damage as opposed to the rocket bomb split. Um, yes. And I do think rockets, for multi rolls, rockets are where it's at. For heavy fighters, bombers is where it's at. Uh, bombs is where it's at. I think my, that's my two cents. I'm, it's not set in stone or anything, but preference wise, I prefer rockets on my multi rolls and bombers on my heavy fighters. I, I, I hear what you're saying. And I have the I have the other preference. Mm. I would prefer to be able to use bombs. Right. Um, and I'm not sure why. Uh, other than the fact that I seem to be able to use bombs better than I use rockets. Rockets I do okay with, but bombs I do better with. Mm. And and I'm not sure why that is. And so my preference is for bombs. It's Got one it. of the reasons I like the uh, British, the UK Hawker line is because on some of those planes, you get to keep bombs when you're specialized. Right. Yeah. Um, Which they like put that. into the game. It wasn't originally there and they went back and coded again. Another, you know, spot where Wargaming listened to the player base to their credit. Uh, I was changing I gotta give that. A, yeah. I got to give a, a Wargaming uh, applause for that. I, I love it when they listen to the player base. And, and frankly, this Corsair is, is a good plane especially for those folks that like Corsairs. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, I myself like Corsairs just fine. Uh, I would ask Wargaming to do something for us, and that's shorten the reload time maybe a little bit. Give us 100 seconds that we can get maybe down to 80 seconds with strength and hard points. I mean, look, if, if they are watching this and listening to you, they just watched us win three in a row. So they're not going to be inclined to buff the aircraft. We should have done poorly yeah. if we wanted to buff. <laughs> I, I know, but that, that that's, yeah. Um, <laughs> look, uh, that's the Horton so we're, pretty. We're, we're, long, we're longtime veterans of the game. We, we know how to do teamwork. Uh, we know how to... Uh, uh, change our minds when the when mistakes are made, uh, or to doggedly you know. pursue strategies even when they're bad. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> and sometimes you know, pull it out anyway. All right, I'm gonna go yeah. for the command center over here. Uh, the Horton okay. is the Horton still on sale or did it? Has it rolled off at this point? Were we it, too late? I believe it. It's off. Oh, uh, that's a I'm, shame. I, I'm gonna. I'm gonna do something a little unconventional and take this aircraft to to the middle. Okay. Um, I. I do I? Oh, we don't. We're not in an all bot battle, but no. Two v two. Um, it is my thinking that uh, the vampire is not going to be able to uh, stand up to this, stand up to this plane at all. More than likely, that is correct. Um, I'm going to make another pass on the. I got to get used to the guns because it's been a while since I've flown this thing, and I'm not the best with the 30s anyway. But I've got a, I've got someone chasing me, so I got to get away. Who is it? Uh, it's a, it's a fighter of some kind. Let's see here. Who is it? Oh, uh, accommodating heavy has flown into the zone. What are you doing, man? Oh, it's a, it's, oh my gosh, it's a, it's the K6, and he's way up where he doesn't belong. Well, it was a good surprise tactic, I guess. Because I was up at 3,000 meters. Oh, wow. I mean, it can get okay. up that high. That is that is a thing. Okay. Well. I didn't think he could actually get up that high, but, but that's no, my you can We can outspeed him if we need to. That's, that's the good right. thing. Yeah, I should have kicked in my boost and just gone to the stratosphere. No, I'm not going to head on. Sorry, buddy. And I'm not going to let you turn on me. Well, the other thing I could have done is gone after the bombers at the at the mining plant. Oh god, now he's got he sucked the uh, sick to the ten fifty six on me. <laughs> All right, I gotta drag them up and over. He's still following me, interestingly enough. So uh, I'm gonna drag him to you. Let's two v one again, I guess. Oh no, he okay. he he pulled off. He pulled off. I'm I'm going over to the to the um, uh, yeah finish center, finish off the I command can. center if you can yeah yeah that's a good idea. Sea Fang coming up after me that's 
Interesting choice. Oh, okay. Or, or he could ram me. Of course. Of course. I connected once, but it wasn't enough. This is my. This is another gripe I've got about bombers. Is that, that man that turning circle that they can get? Yeah, just he's drives me absolutely crazy. Just about turning inside of you. <laughs> All right, we yeah. gotta we gotta cap a zone I'm, here, don't we? Yeah, we gotta we gotta do something else. We gotta go over to the mining plant, I think. Are there enemy planes over the mining plant? Uh, I don't think so. But just maybe cover our own our own guys. Well, maybe not. Ugh. Oh, I'm so oh, bad I... with these guns. Yeah. No, I'm not great either. You know what I'd forgotten about the Horton is how fast it can dive. Yeah. That, that was the mistake I made against that K6. Dive. Because the K6 has got good dive, but not great. Ugh. All right. Well, I can get 60 points over here at the uh, maybe. trouble with my aiming here same well this is a good cautionary tale and i did uh, stumble across a player who bought this plane last week and was struggling with the flying of it and so that was part of why i wanted to fly it tonight was just to show people it is not easy to fly it does take some uh you know time and acquisition and you really do have to energy fight with it you, yep. you can't you can't slouch and try to dogfight it's not going to happen nope Dog fighting, uh, dog fighting doesn't work with this plane. I'm gonna speed to the uh, air base. Yep. Oh, I had someone on me, but not anymore. The uh, P-47 is trying to come up after you, so I'm gonna hit him. Well, I'm gonna try to hit him. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use my, uh, use my insane dive speed on this guy. There we go. Oh. He's down. All right. Now the question is, defend the mining plant or not? Uh, maybe one of us, since we're uh, split up here. All right. And we're going to need it to win at this point, so. Yeah. All right, you got it? Yep. All right. I'll try to get it. Oh. <laughs> I'm surprised Squalline hasn't hit yet. Well, I... Uh... I, I finally got it. I got a, the sea fang from a kilometer away. I hit him with both both shells. Good. And it was an insta give. All right. I love it when this. Yeah, I so say I just dropped the K6 over the. Uh... There we go. And the vampire's down as well. I'm going right. to see if I can uh, capture this garrison or at least help with it. might have been a bad idea. The AA is going to be all over me. Oh. So I, uh, the, the, I began my pullout at, uh, at 500 meters. Right. And I got a little blip, like a little blip in yeah. the, in, 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 like my connection. And the next, like, microsecond, I was, I was into the ground. Oh, yeah. That can also happen, and it's a real pain in the butt. Okay, um, so maybe the supremacy will help, depending on how long we can hold on to it. Well, we've... We cannot you any longer. Okay. That's, okay, we got to stay alive. That's the big thing. Yes. Oops. Made a mistake. They're both coming for you. Yep, they sure are. Oh, Lord. 
and I've got two on me. None of these bots grow a brain. Grow a brain, Moran. All right. I'm up at 4,000 meters. I've got a sea fang chasing me at 3,000 meters, and he's still climbing on me. Because, you know, bots are, uh, do not follow the rules of the game. All right, so I, uh, I was able to escape. Yeah, I was too. By climbing up way, way, way outside my... Uh, and I uh, got zapped. Oh. I'm gonna die to this sea fang up at... Uh, oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> Crazy. That's what I think so, that's one of the things the Horton has a hard time defending itself, right? Unless you maintain that energy state. Um, yes. It's a fragile yes, aircraft to boot, right? <clears throat> it, it's a little fragile. It, it, it handles exactly like a heavy fighter. And if you think you're going to be turning with it, you're wrong. Right. Um, I, I changed out the gun sight for, uh, radio navigation equipment and I'm, I'm going to rethink that because I think that uh, I think it needs every ounce of accuracy you can possibly get out of it. Uh, I spend a lot of time shooting the air and not so much time shooting planes. Oh, yeah. Um, yep. And so so it's it's a fun it is a really fun uh, premium aircraft. Uh, right. Unique. Right? It's it's a fantastic airplane and I love playing it. But but man, you got to have your you got to have your wits about you, which mm -hmm. um, already I've got you know half my brain tied behind my back, uh, <laughs> and the other part of it's uh, engaged with uh, talking with you while I'm while I'm fighting, which of course is is not good uh, <laughs> for my skill level, which is already suspect. So, <laughs> so you know. <clears throat> can't walk and chew gum at the same time. Right. Uh, so, so yeah. Uh, I do have gun sight on mine, I will say. Um, but I, I do think it's the auto aim that helps more than the general accuracy, especially on these long range sniper guns, which already have decent accuracy to begin with. Right. Um, right. It's, it's getting the auto aim up that helps. Um, so that's not necessarily any different with the navigational equipment, but um, something to think about. I do have mine set to maneuver. I've got lightweight wing frame, lightweight power plant, and uh, boost. Um, but unlocking that gun slot will also help in the near future, right? When you get it specialized. Is your specialized yet? It is. Okay. Yeah, mine's. I'm so, still working on mine. So. So my, my you know, my my habit, uh, and, and I'll repeat this for your, for your listeners, is that when I get a premium plane. I almost always just spend the tokens to specialize it. Well, that's fair. I did, I, but I couldn't remember when the Horton came out, so I didn't know if you were yeah. if you had that practice back when this came out or not. So that's good to know. Yeah. You've always done that, then, basically, as long no, as specialization. No, I've always done that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it, because I earn tokens, you know, all the all the time. It's like right. you play heavy fighters, and the and tokens drop out of the sky, right? Mm -hmm. And so you know, you spend. I don't know how many it is, 75 or, or 90 or however many it is uh, on a period three. On a period three, I think it's 90. Right. Uh, I can never remember. And in between premiums, there's usually a long time in between premiums. And making 90 tokens is like, you know, that's uh, that it doesn't take long when, you, when you're when you playing every day and you get, I'm a Campbell, um, and you get a McGuire. Right. You get Hero of the Sky. And, you know, all of a sudden it's like, hey, you know what? You, you play a month. Right. You know, every day for a month and you get those three, just those three, and you've got 90 tokens. So I will right? say I, I'm I'm behind the eight ball a little bit in that I, I like where you're headed with that. But I, I feel like you almost have to immediately specialize your tier 10s if you want to be competitive, given the age and veterancy of the player base. So that's where I, all my tokens are going is as I unlock a 10, I specialize it. Unlock a 10, specialize it, right? And I'm kind of building up a bank of tokens to do that with. So. No, I, I, I completely agree with you. It's like um, it, it's, 
it's one of those things where you, it, especially if you, you've got a bunch of tier tens that you want to do, right? Right. I mean, you're that, that's where you're headed with this. Uh, um, I, uh, have most of the tier tens that I want. Right. You're already there. So that makes perfect uh, yeah. sense what you're doing. Absolutely. Yeah. And so, mm -hmm. so it, you are absolutely correct. Saving them, uh, for, so, so there's another argument to be made and I'll get to that. Saving them for doing tier nine and tier 10, I, I believe is, is, is a hundred percent worthwhile because you're absolutely right. You get to tier 10 and you're flying a, essentially a, uh, a, a, an elite aircraft. There's a couple of them that you actually have to earn modules for like the hunter, which right. is uh, okay. <laughs> Thanks Wargaming, gaming for giving yeah. us a multi-role at tier 10 and making us earn modules for it. It's a free XP uh, sync, right? Like that's, yeah. 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 So, uh, in order to be competitive at all, I, I kind of, even with the bombers, right? You, you gotta, you gotta token out the, the, the specialization so you can mount up your gear right. and, and get to flying. Okay. Okay. So the other thing that I was going to say is, Today we're flying the XF4U6, mm -hmm. which is a multi-role, which has got multi-roles have the weirdest kind of requirement right. for specialization. Yeah. Seemingly the most grindy. Okay. Or you could argue mid-tier bombers. All right. I, 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 I'll buy that. But uh, all those aircraft kills that you got to get with, um, with planes that are meant to hit ground targets. Why don't you get any credit for doing ground targets? This is the one thing where I wish, w, uh, wish uh, Wargaming would listen to us. You know, uh, that's a, it, it, it's a, it's a gripe. Yeah. All right, so I changed out my, uh, my um, uh, navigational radio equipment for uh, gun sight. Um, and so we'll, we'll see if that doesn't help. Uh, uh, a military base. Yeah, that's just uh, it's bots. So yeah, let's uh, let's do a, a northeast to southwest line on the map and cap those three. Sounds good to me. We don't need to be especially efficient, uh, all things considered. I'll uh, I'll go for the far one. Oh okay, very good. I'll uh, I use that boost cooler that I always bring go. along. I brought it. I've got it in this one too. It's just that stock Corsair doesn't have one, sadly. Right. Um, I did notice. I don't know if anybody else noticed this when I was looking at it in the um, in the hangar. The pilot doesn't have anything under the chair. Like when the landing gear is down, you can see straight to the ground from the top of the aircraft. Oops. <laughs> Here I was singing the praises of the model making. Well, I assume uh, it's it's probably because it was an experimental aircraft that probably really was the way it was, right? Oh, sure. No, I guess that's that's possible. All right, what do we got here? I will say, too, although you don't have a, a good rudder for obvious reasons on this aircraft, and it doesn't turn well, doing up and over on it is very feasible uh, because of the it flying is. wing nature. So roll, roll and go vertical. Oofed. I, uh... I have a, oh my gosh, I-260, sniped me oh, from, uh, no. from a kilometer away. I, uh, I, I do love a bot. I, I do love a bot uh, uh, sniper. They always hit. Always. Always. 100% accuracy. 100% accuracy. Kind of ticks me off a little bit. What? Why would that? Why would that make you angry? Yeah. <laughs> it's like uh, it, it's we have to struggle to hit something. But oh, are you going after that bomber? Yeah, just for the sake of showing our viewers what the plane can and cannot do. Oh, were you going yeah. after it too? I did, but there's another bomber down there. All right. Is he lower? He is. Oh, it's a TU2. Oh, up, 
loop and over, he says. Yep. Vertical loops. Absolutely. Just like a, a heavy fighter. Yep. And the roll rate's great, too. I mean, you wouldn't think so with it being a giant wing, but it really is. Oh, over there, a military base, I see that they've got an ME-262 that's flying around. I, uh, I, I feel uh, uh, a little bit of uh, revenge coming on. All right, all right. I like it. Because I know that I can turn inside an ME-262. For sure. I'm uh, I'm doing something very foolish right now, so don't don't do what I'm doing. We're in an all bot battle, so <laughs> I can float fly the Horton under a thousand meters. But normally speaking, you should not do that. <laughs> stay high and stay full of energy. Oh man! Oh my! Uh, my guns failed me. That, that's one of the things that also I don't like about the bots is that they seem to be able to fly right between your mm. right between your shells. So it's a good time to remind everyone of uh, VBAT's patented uh, three-shot burst technique. Fire three shots, then wait, then fire three shots, then wait. And kind of keep the guns cool it's on this plane. Uh, and the other uh, method is also tap fire. Tap fire, yep. Which is essentially Function. what you're doing. You just just make sure you tap only three times. Because one thing that does happen is when you finally line up the shot, you want to be able to keep pouring it on, right? Like that's. Yep. You absolutely do. It's interesting. I went head on with the I-260, and he pulled away, which means the bot thinks I have better forward firepower than he does. I'm not sure that's accurate, but that's what the uh, bot assumes. I see you, and you took him. Yep. All right. Now, if we want to stretch this battle out, we'll leave that uh, leave that uh, um, mining plant alone. Yep. Oops. Who's after me? Heavy fighter, maybe. Ah, uh, it was another multi-roll, but he uh, gave up. So up. Because what? Yep, I see. I'm going to come straight up. Once I get into my red, so this is a this is one of the things. This plane actually performs pretty well in the red. A rocket has reached the target. Enemy objects damaged. Yeah, it uh, it retains control pretty well. I was up it's in the red last match. Right. Uh, you oh. got the I-260 is playing with you. Yep. I'm on my way, but you gotta, you're gonna have to do something. Don't do something. Just stand there. Well, sometimes that's what you gotta do. Nice. <laughs> well done. Uh, so this, we've done that twice now. Also good to know if you are working in a pair, the best thing you do is fly in a straight line for your partner, or drag the enemy up, make them slow, make them an easy target. So that's very important. Um, I don't know how many people remember or not. I just talked to him recently. But uh, LT Blanco uh, was uh, my wingman for most of 1.x, and we, we got a lot of kills doing the drag people up <laughs> technique back in the day. So it, it's, um, it's hard not to get tunnel vision. Yeah. Because here you're, you, you look at the minimap, and you say, "Oh, there's nobody around. Right. Here, I got this guy, and I, I, I can, I can stick with him if I, if I give it all my boost." Yeah. And you don't know that that this guy is just called for his flight mate, <clears throat> right. and has been talking about it already. And I'm already on my way. And then by the time you look at the mini map again, uh oh, and now I'm out of boost. Yeah. And I'm out of ideas, and I've got someone on my six. Yep. Yep. It's, and and, and it, it's easy to panic when somebody's on you and, like, forget what you're doing. And air combat is really about who makes the first mistake, right? Like, that's... Right. Uh, I'm looking... People who are on my... See and now can see... The, you can see all the way through the ground right here. Um, it's fascinating. But, uh, yeah, it's that's always what... Which is why, you know, I assume AI and drones are going to be very good at aerial combat. 
because they won't make many mistakes, if any. Cool. Uh, right. Should we do one more in the Horton? Should we finish with a flourish on something else? What are you feeling like? You know, uh, <clears throat> I'm uh, I am happy to do it, but it, it'd be great to do something else, I think. Okay. Um, uh, I'm up for... Uh, let's see what, uh, you were, are you grinding something where you'd like some help? Uh, I mean, the two things I'm primarily grinding right now, I'm trying to finish off the, uh, MIG-9 and the Key-163, uh, or 162, excuse me. So those are my okay, two so, primary grinders right now. So you're at, you're at tier nine. Mm -hmm. And, uh, so my clan mate nova tempest and i mm -hmm. uh, we have this in common is that we love the me 262 hg2 oh yes the yes Mas he he is an absolute stud with that thing <laughs> he uh, he sent me a replay today and i watched it and it was like oh my god dude i <laughs> Ah, wow. So that's you know. the replay I have in my inbox uh, to do a review on later this week. So uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to say about it that probably hasn't already, you know, like uh, there's nothing probably critical I can say about it, but we'll all watch it together and have some fun with it. <laughs> I, so. I, I, I've got some stuff I can learn uh, yeah. just from, just from watching it. He's, that's my thought as is, well, which is why I wanted to run it because I feel like we can all learn from it. Right. Like, Yep. No, he's, uh, he's, it's like, if he ever sends you a, a battle in which he's flying the, the, uh, BF 109 E, mm -hmm. um, uh, I, his, his skill in that plane is, is outstanding. Well, that was his first um, long form video. He just did a couple of weeks ago, right? Cause he's doing him yeah. now too. And, and it was, it was using the 109 E, right? So. Oh, that's that. No, that's true. I I I had forgotten mm. uh, that I, I've flown with him uh, a bunch, and oh my goodness, it's like I you know I, I I watch and see what he does, and, and it's like, how did you make that plane do that? Tell me how you tell me your ways. <clears throat> I I think I feel a little dirty with the one and I need though. So I feel like for for you know ethical penance. <laughs> um, you should have to fly an I-1629 flight for every 109E e flight that, uh, that you do, just to balance the scales in life. Ouch. <laughs> that, yeah. But so, I'm gonna, I, I, I'll tell you something about that. I, uh, I, I got um, the, my very first flight in that thing after I got it. I, got, I, drew, a, um, I drew one of those uh, period one maps. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, went out and got an ace in a Marseille, and, and <laughs> yeah, it was, it, it was, uh, it was ugly and sad. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and and it was great. And of course, I've never repeated that uh, with that particular plane before because it's, it's just not that good. Yeah. Um, yeah that's uh, I, I, for for me a tier for tier, pound for pound, it's probably the worst plane in the game. Yeah, I'll, I'll buy that. Well, I'll right. do a video on it. I'll do a video on the I-1629. Uh, I will. I'll show everyone why I think it's the worst plane in the game. <laughs> huh. This is an interesting one. What? Do you have a, you have any other candidates for worst plane in the game? Oh. Um, uh, the I-207 is not great. Hmm. Um, it's, uh, it's fun, but it's slow, and its altitude is poor. Uh, it turns okay. Uh, but, but yeah, I mean, gosh, that's, uh, I, I, I think you're right. I think you're right. It's, it's, it's pretty bad. It's slow. Um, the weapons take forever to reload. Uh, it has low firepower. It doesn't turn especially well. So it's like every other plane in the game does at least one thing better than you and usually two to three things better than you. So, <laughs> yeah. So, so you really need to. If you're going to do anything with it, you got a seal club with it, and, uh, and and half the time you get tier five. So what do you who are you seal clubbing yeah. with it, right? Yeah, no, you're seal clubbing yourself if you pick that guy and, and go and fly it. Right. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, I I think you're probably right. 
It's it's pretty bad. Goodness gracious. That's uh that oh, bot really wanted go. me. Alright, I'm gonna go uh clear over the mining plant. Their mining plant. Uh, yeah, so I'm currently I'm 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 over the mining plant, uh taking care of a of a um, PU PU twelve. Okay. I'm not sure Actually, I'm going to be able to do this uh, against these ground attack aircraft, but I'll do what I can. Uh, the the MiG-9 is pretty good against ground attack aircraft because that 37 hits hard. Yeah. So, I, I mean, yeah, okay. Kind of a pain. Oh, jeez. The uh, the Yak-30 decided to come over to the mining plant. Oh, yeah, that's, okay. that's, that's, that's painful. So I'm going to get out. Trying to stay out of this guy's tail guns. He shredded my pilot on that pass, unfortunately. All right, let's see what I can get. I can get some points back here, I think. I am, uh, I'm dismayed that the, that he came over there. There we go, all right. Uh, with the air, with them having the airbase, it's going to be tough because. Well, I mean, here's a problem. Either he can defend the airbase, or he can defend a, or he can do something at the mining plants. He can't do both. That's fair. We'll eventually flip the uh, airbase, so right? Going, yeah, I'm going back over here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tie him up over here. Okay, that sounds good. And I'll make sure this air, this mining plant stays. go I got I got the TU-12 again oh he he didn't stay so he's back so at the uh, he's back at the airbase huh I wonder if he's gonna come this way next so the my problem is that I've got a, a F7U that's given me given me some trouble come on Now there is no way that he can come all the way up here. I'm at I'm at 4,500 meters. There we go. Bots are dumb. All right. <clears throat> this mining base is once again safe from the forces of red. I don't know okay. how long. Well, I've got, I've got trouble over here. I've got, for some reason, they've decided to, uh, to actually send all kind of planes over here, which is weird. Uh, whenever I have, uh, seemingly have a, a mining plant and I leave it, uh, our guys also leave it. Okay, cool. There we go. And that's uh, that's how you take a mining plant without uh, without having any bombs. Yeah. Is you uh, you just you just start lighting up the lighting up the the bombers and the attack aircraft that come over. I'm feeding one. Air I've got them separated enough. I'm just killing one GA at a time. Yeah. Probably not the most riveting of gameplay for people watching, but it works. So, so when you've got when you've got planes that have good altitude. Oh, hey! He switched to a heavy. Smart. Was it? Because I am turning around him now. <laughs> oh, right. I'm not sure this was the right. Uh... Which, uh, which heavy did he pick? 228. It's a good, good pick. So you're over there. You're, you're getting hammered. Uh, yeah, he's gonna flip. The, uh, he's gonna flip it. Yeah, because the F7 you just uh, pulled into. So he sent everybody over this way to try and steal one back. <clears throat> okay. I didn't see the F7 you. I was unfortunately uh, too locked in on him. 
All right, but they're all over at the plant, so it might be a good time to steal the uh, mining base or the uh, air plant, air force, uh, air base. Yeah. So. Oofed. We got a dummy heavy bot over our mining plant that just died over there. Yeah. Oops. Hey. Oh, I've got a I've got a bot that I got a uh, heavy fighter ADA that uh, resisted. All right. Much of my uh, uh, attention. Well, there is uh, his 228 is up high. I'm coming up under him. Oh, there's another 228 here. There we go. Okay. Oh, and you're after him. Yep. Okay. Here's that F7U again. I'm tempted to let him. Uh, you know, ha hold him for 15 seconds and then punch his ticket, but I'll be a good sport. I will, however, punch the ticket of the, the uh, ground attack aircraft right at the buzzer, because I don't want him respawning. Not if we want to win here. Oh, oh dear. Oh, oh, oh. That was bad. I almost collided with him. That F7U is... Thank you. Okay. Oh god, F-94 incoming. Good, I didn't get Vulcan to death. Yeah, that's always painful. Oofed. He's Carl coming Heinz. back, he's coming back, he's coming back, watch out. Oh. He got the Yak-30, got me. He was he was in low while the uh, 228 was high. All right, we've lost both the mining plants. Damn it. Unfortunately, there's nothing I can do about that. Yep. Oh, dear. Yep, they're going to steal that one, unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, yep. Now, there's a, this one's a loss, but. It's all right. What are you going to do? Keep grinding the MiG-9 until I hit the MiG-15. That's what I'm going to do. Yep. No, the MiG-15 would have been a great uh, choice against that Yak-30. Yep. Because you, uh, you can light those guys up all day long. Oh. Yep. <laughs> 45 seconds. Uh before their uh, plant roll, rolls over, and that's it. Actually, I don't even think it'll, I think it'll be no. over before then. Yeah, probably. Yeah. So 12, yeah. Yep, 10 or 15 seconds. Get some more personal points. Squeeze it in. Yep. I got it. There you go. That's all I got. Close game. Close game. Yeah. Hey, no, that's, we just... I'll take it. Again, people would, did what they should have done. They, they played competitively. I will take that loss all day long. I really will. I, I don't mind that. You know, where this game is frustrating is where people don't play into their roles or, or don't understand what they should be doing, right? When you got four pilots in a match, seesaw like that, that's awesome. I, I, I love that. Right. No, and and you were doing the, th the light fighter thing that you were supposed to be doing. I was doing the heavy fighter thing that I was supposed to be doing um, when I was overmatched by, by the wrong, by a plane, I left. Yeah. You know, don't, don't get killed in the zone. Yeah. Right? If you're going to die, don't die in the zone. Yep. Just, you know, respawn and go and hit it again. Yep. Yep. Uh, no, it's uh, it's it's something that you want it, to, it, it's something that, that you want to think about when you go out every single time. Right. You want to, you want to think about, hey, look, what's my role in this thing? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not going to the air base and I'm not going to mix it up with light fighters. Not in a heavy fighter, I'm not. <laughs> Well, you um, shouldn't be, no. <laughs> no. Uh, it, oh, if there's an opportunity, maybe. Right. Maybe if you go there and it's like, hey, this thing's hanging on by a thread and I see an ADA over there that's got not much health left. Yeah, I'm going to one pass this thing and I'm going to uh, I'm going to do it. But if there's if you've got all kind of light fighters swirling around there occupied by by human pilots. No, um, right. that's just a quick death. You're just feeding them experience points. So don't do it. 
Yeah. Um, shoot down bombers. Shoot down GAA. Protect a protect a mining plant if you can. Yeah. Um, because man, mining plants worth three zones. Yep. So, you know, it's if, definitely if worth kept, worth getting if you can. <laughs> that that's why they sent all those people over there to to kick your butt. Yep. Was because they knew it. Yep. And we knew it. Yep. Um. Absolutely. So, so they uh they just they just did the did the thing better. Yep. That's it. And that's that's a good match for me. I I I like that. So, um, more of that, please. Well, Corvus, thank you for joining me tonight. A pleasure, as always, to fly with you and to chat about the game and the planes. Uh, always a lot of fun. And um, so I'll get this uh, wrapped up and uh, thrown up on the on the waves of the Internet for everyone. Uh, uh, thanks for having me. And I look forward to flying Bettys with you. Yeah, soon, very soon. When, when do you think so... that'll happen? When do you think the Bettys coming out? I, I'm uh, my, my guess is that it's gonna come out around uh, War Gaming's War Gaming's anniversary. August. That, that's, yeah, that, that's my guess. Yep. And uh, and it fits in with their uh, the way they've been releasing premiums lately. Yep. Yep. Makes a lot of sense. All right. Well, uh, we will definitely pull some Betty's in about a month when uh, War Gaming has its uh, what eleventh or no. Wargaming is more than that. It's the eleventh year. It will be eleventh of Warplanes, but it'll be the, gosh, I don't know how many for Wargaming. A lot. So twenty six, yeah. maybe. Yeah, that sounds about maybe? right. That sounds about right. So. That's it's a. They've been around a while. Yes, they have. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, everyone out there, we'll catch you on the next one. Uh, thank you for being here. Like and subscribe if you don't like. You know, uh, hit the unlike button twice to make sure it takes, and uh, we will catch you on the next one.